valid question. So basically, the gist of the question is, with physical distancing and the results of the pandemic, um, has this caused people to run towards God? Or has it caused people to curse him and run away? And I guess in some ways it remains to be seen. <laughs> We're still in the midst of it. Um, but what I think, what I think is happening for a lot of us is that these things that we've placed our faith in, right, as, as these institutions unravel, um, I think there's an opportunity for faith to emerge in the midst of the pandemic, right? It's, it's like um, during times like this, it's like somebody pulling up a plant by the roots and just shaking all the dirt out of it. And this, this pandemic, I think, has been um, a shaking experience for a lot of people. And so if, if you've placed your faith into a job, and all of a sudden that career is no longer what you thought it was, if you've placed your faith into a retirement plan, a retirement fund, into the economy, and now all of a sudden um, there's a lot of uncertainty with the economy. If you placed your faith into science and technology, and now um, we're, we're struggling, right, as a as a culture to come up with a solution. Uh, the, the, the smartest people on the planet right, um, somehow didn't see this coming. We were unprepared for this pandemic. And now that we're in it, there's not a, there's not a solution uh, that we're able to easily and quickly create. We have the smartest minds on the planet working on this problem and it remains to be seen uh, if they're going to be able to um, come up with a uh, with a vaccine. Um, and so I think that the possible that there's great potential for revival. Now you see this, right? You you see this in the Bible, right? So God's people, like prosperity, was never good for the spiritual vitality of God's people. On the contrary, prosperity was a problem. So it was in times of prosperity that they would backslide. And so God had to bring judgment. Um, God had to do something to get their attention. And then it was in times of defeat. It was in seasons of exile that they would seek the Lord, right? This, I read the book of Judges today. And, you know, there's this refrain that, that's constant. It, um, like almost every chapter begins the same way. Again, the Israelites did evil in the sight of the Lord. And so God would send a, a messenger to deliver his people and they would do well. But it was, it, it was the very answer to their prayers that undermined their faith. It was the times of prosperity. And so I think um, a, a pandemic uh, creates um, an atmosphere that revival can happen, right? I think that um, in my hope and prayer is that people will reach out for something more solid Right, that, that parable in Matthew chapter 7 where Jesus said one person built their life on the sand. They built their house on the sand and one person built their house on the rock. And then the storm, the storm came and the, and the house that was built on the sand was washed away. But the house that was built on the rock withstood the storm. And so I think a lot of people are experiencing the reality of that parable where the things that we've placed our trust in, the things that we've placed our hope in have been eroded. They're unraveling. They're washed away by the storm of this pandemic. And now we need something more substantial. We need something more solid. And the only 
solution is God. <laughs> Something beyond what human beings are able to create. It's a great question, though.